Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 as the Kingdom of Aragon with the HIP mod. In the last episode we just declared uh, our latest holy war for these four counties here against this Emir. Uh, Emir? I think I said Amir there, which does not make sense because it's not a word. But we're just getting our... uh oh. Just getting our levies together. A, a strange reddish pink rash appeared on my palms and soles not long ago along with a fever and headache. Some parts of the rash has developed abscesses and is both ugly and itchy. So we have developed gonorrhea, which is pretty poor. Um, though it's actually not that surprising since I noticed um, in the last episode or the previous one that my wife has gonorrhea. I guess I should probably have divorced her or something when I noticed that so that we didn't catch it ourselves. Oh well. We have gonorrhea now, it's fine. Um, so we might die. That gives us minus two health. Uh, we don't have any health bonus from any of our other traits, I think, so that's pretty bad. Let's hope uh, my son is ready for the task of becoming king. He's an okay character. Pretty much average across the board. Anyway, we'll worry about it if and when we do actually die. I suppose when we die, we're gonna die at some point. So my other son has had a son of his own. Good. Uh, he's called in another emir to this war, or he's joined or whatever, I don't know. And the Sultan of um, whatever this Sultanate is called. Al-Marabu... al, al, al Marab Al Murabitan, Murabitan Sultanate. Wow, I can read words. I promise you. Uh, we have righteous imprisonment against my courtier here. What is his plot? Kill somebody? I don't know who that is. So I probably don't care about it. The clergy is not satisfied with collecting a tithe uh, from all free peasants. They demand the right to collect an extra tithe. Um, so we can increase local revolt risk or annoy a bishop. Ah. We don't need to be increasing revolt risk. It's fine. I think my daughter-in-law might fancy me. Um, I'm not going to do this, not just for because I don't usually try to sleep with my um, relatives' wives, but also because I don't want to give her gonorrhea and thereby possibly give my son gonorrhea. That seems like a poor strategic decision. So let's say no to that one. Okay, the Holy Roman Emperor has won his war, not surprisingly. And let's see, my half-sister can marry the Prince of Sicily, okay. We'll allow that. Uh, I think I'll go and attack his army here, if possible. Let's get some good characters in charge. And he's trying to get away. He'll be there on the 25th. He will get away, okay. Maybe we can catch him in the next county there. which we can. And we capture somebody and a count, or a sheik rather. Um, let's split this in half and siege that county and we'll just siege all four.
should keep an eye out for any armies uh, coming from his allies as well. In case that should be a problem. Alright, so the monks are trying to make me into a drunkard again. But we won't let them do that. My daughter died of pneumonia. Uh, okay. Does that end my alliance with Hungary? Or did we have other marriage ties? I think we had more than one. Um, oh, I guess not. We're still allied with Croatia. Maybe I was thinking of Croatia. Well, that's okay. Ooh, and we have taken a battle here. We should be able to reinforce it in time, though. This looks to be going pretty well. And my grandson, this is my grandson that's in direct line for the throne, I believe, has become a fortune builder, not Midas touched as I was hoping. That's okay. He's a decent character. We'll uh, try to pay more attention to his children so that we can actually get um, a good education and stuff for his uh, next in line, which will be my likely future character. Um, and also for that reason, I want to try and get him married to somebody with uh, a good genetic trait. I think genius would be the best. Uh, pretty good character all around here, actually. Even though it's going to lose him some prestige. So we have a couple of little armies around here that we probably don't have to worry about. We're at 60% already, mostly from battles, I assume. Particularly that one big battle, which gave us 32%. So hopefully it won't take too many sieges to get us up to 100. Uh, we have a granddaughter. We need to get educated too. Ooh, this uh, Duchess is really annoyed with me. Why? Minus 30 because we took a ward away from her. Title claimant. And also she doesn't like the fact that I have gonorrhea. Ugh, okay. Um, guess we'll try to mollify her a little bit. Uh, this is just the same guy, right? I'll just ask him to end his plot, I suppose. Okay, we had another granddaughter. Uh, we still have righteous imprisonment on him, even though he's not plotting anymore. Alright, well, we don't really have any reason to... Uh, arrest him so we won't. Two people eloped, got married without anyone's consent except their own, and it falls to me as their liege to either accept the marriage or do something about it. So it was my cousin here, uh, and my friend. Okay, well... I guess, uh... I guess that's fine. Uh, let's leave them be. Not actually making any progress on the sieges there. Uh, though they, they did just get more troops, so now they can do it. Uh, my dear friend, I fear the war might drag you away from me longer than necessary, and thus I felt there must be something I could do. Please accept my help, and let's win this war together. So this Duke of Aragon, my cousin, is again joining my war. Okay. Thanks. Though we're pretty much done right now. I appreciate the moral support, though. So let's enforce our demands. And let's use our very handy um, distribute recently acquired land button.
And yep, this does put us over our vassal limit. What exact penalties does this um, convey here? Less taxes and levies, okay. And we risk losing vassals. That's fine. Uh, we have plenty of duchy titles we can create to get that back into a manageable level. Um, is this all my retinue? Oh, there's a stack from Castile here still, okay. Okay, so we have given away all of those. Um, we can usurp this title or this one down here. Um, I guess usurping is cheaper than creating. This costs me uh, 100 gold, while creating titles costs me 200. So I will just usurp the ones I can usurp. And this one will get us exactly to 17, I believe, so let's do it. And which of these guys should we give it to? Uh, nobody particularly exceptional. I guess this guy is uh, the best character among them, so we'll give it to him. The... Duchy, yes, okay. Congratulations. And that gets us to 17 out of 17. Um... This county still isn't converted, so we will wait till that happens before we move our chaplain over to help with these conversions over here. May as well just leave my retinue down in that area. Yep, and people are pretty annoyed about the whole levies thing. Uh, nope. I guess I could have landed some of my sons down there. Now that I think about it. That's fine, though. Maybe do that next time. Uh, she asks, Daddy, where do children come from? I'll tell her when she gets older, which might make her cynical, diligent, or deceitful. Tell her about bees and flowers, which basically has... bad outcomes. Uh, we'll tell her when she gets older. Uh... She became cynical. Okay. Alright, and we have a peasant revolt. Led by a disgruntled former soldier. Um, okay, we'll... Let's see. Are our vassals going to take care of it themselves? Looks like they're trying to. I suppose I should do it myself anyway. My grandson requires educating. Uh, I guess we'll give him to... Yeah, the Duke of Navarra here. This is mountains, which is not a good type of terrain to attack into, but it should be okay. We have doubled our numbers. Okay, we have a new courtier up here. Let's check him out. Um, who was that? Not him. It was him, I guess. Okay, he's not great. No, oh, and we have died. The gonorrhea finally caught up with us. Uh, he died of gonorrhea. Yes, that's what I just said. Long live Ramiro III. Okay, so we are a crusader. That will help us out a little bit with any of our vassals who are also crusaders. Uh, 
Religious, same trait opinion, plus 30. Gardener, um, if anybody happens to be gardeners, they'll like us more. We lost a couple of claims, that's fine. Uh, okay, various people left our court for the Kingdom of Aragon, which is where we also are, so I don't know what that means exactly. Uh, our vassals, we mostly need to worry about our dukes. So, let's see, what are they mostly upset about? Short reign, which will go away. They don't like that we are greedy or cruel. Uh, kind versus cruel there is especially bad. Duke of Toledo. Uh, we don't need to worry so much about this guy. He won't be powerful for a while because all of his counties in his realm have this uh, new administration and recently conquered modifier on them. But we should probably still do something about his opinion. Um... We have a decent amount of gold, so we can spread some money around to help us out. And we have five children without guardians. Most of whom seem to be related to us, so hopefully we can get some opinion bonus from them. My daughter. Uh, yeah, we'll give her to the Duke of Navarra. This is another daughter. Give her to the Duchess of Zaragoza. My son. Uh, this is my eldest son? Not my eldest son, so... Probably not too important, so we'll just give him to somebody for opinion as well. Zaragoza, I guess. Another... This is a niece. I don't think we'll get opinion from her, so we'll just give her to somebody random. And another daughter who we should give to... Uh, let's give her to Aragon. Okay, um, after that, our dukes are mostly pleased. Uh, we don't have to worry about him. I don't believe he can join factions until he's of age. Uh, Zaragoza is really the most problematic one. Navarra is not too great either. So we will maybe just bribe them. Uh, okay, I'm not going to spend 81 gold on 5 opinion. That doesn't seem like it's a good use of my resources. Uh, we'll give him an honorary title though. And let's see. Zaragoza. 27? Yeah, I guess that's worth it. Give her an honorary title too. Keeper of the Swans. It's a very important job. Swans are vital to the integrity of the realm. And that's pretty much uh, all we really want to do at the moment, I guess. Uh, let's see if we can something here. We could also imprison a count and release him for a uh, plus 10 opinion bonus with everybody, I think. He is trying to kill somebody. He's trying to kill my... No, he's trying to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Aragon. Uh, can we imprison him? He's not our direct vassal. Uh, let's try to imprison him. Alto Aragon. Okay, 67% chance. Okay, now let's release him. And now everybody is looking, I think, a bit better. 63 in Zaragoza. This guy is up to 8. 
probably don't need to be too worried about our various counts. Uh, only a couple of them are negative anyway. So everything seems to be relatively well under control here. And in fact, we are out of time for this episode, so um, thanks for watching. We'll continue next time uh, when we will defeat this peasant revolt.